Hello everyone, happy Halloween. So last year when I started this channel, I had only three days to prepare for Halloween, so I didn't have enough time to prepare a costume, but this time I made sure I had something. So why exactly am I Goku? Well the first thing I should explain is this wig. I'm gonna put a picture of what this wig was supposed to look like. I should have known from the two star review it wouldn't be that good, but I didn't even notice it. I just wanted to buy a costume to make sure I had something to wear this time, because I definitely wanted to celebrate this year. I mean, yeah, I think you're supposed to put hairspray on this thing, and you can kind of see, like, when you hold it upside down, there's supposed to be this big part that's, like, supposed to be his big fluffy hair, but, god, it was not really as advertised. So, why am I Goku? Well, the simplest answer is to celebrate Sparking Zero coming out, because I grew up with the whole Budokai series as a child, but also, mainly, I have been a Dragon Ball Z and Super fan my whole life, and to put it shortly, Last year I got back into the movies, because the new movies came out, or the new superhero movie had come out, and then I started watching the anime, which I hated, and then I read the manga, which I enjoyed, and I was sitting there watching the manga, reading the manga every week when it came out, and what happens? Well, Toriyama dies, so I guess this is my way of honoring him, my awful, awful way of honoring him, so I guess you could either say it's one to honor Toriyama for a childhood series that I loved, or it's, you know, just to celebrate the video game coming out, which is ironic because I even haven't even played that game yet because I'm just not in the mood to play a crazy action game right now. Alright, so we're going to celebrate by doing a whole bunch of Blood Moon runs again. I'm going to be doing my part in the community. I'm going to try and do all the objectives and get all the pictures and stuff. So we're going to be doing a very complete run. Have fun here. I'm recording this on the eve of Halloween, so it's mischief night as some might call it. So we're going to have some fun here with the Blood Moons. And if you're wondering who I instant transmission to, it was them. Alright, here we are in Phasmophobia. I did want to show off. I still got my wristbands on, so can't really see them. But I also wanted to show, I did have these booties on, so I had the whole get up. This was a nice costume, other than the wig. I should have just gotten like the Super Saiyan hair. And also, you can kind of see them in the background if they're some, not blurred sometimes. But also, I want to go over here and check again and see the progress. Alright, not as much. I thought we might have already had the ID card, but it is up to 73, other than around 50 where we were at before. Alright, so I'm gonna get in there and do my job to help. So we're gonna start out here on Willow, and the breakers in the basement. We got Lori Shellen, EMF, Firelight, and Sanity. So, I expect to get hunted here, but we're going for- I'm gonna run through the house, get all the moon photos, then figure out the ghost and then go for these objectives because that's all we got to do to get this trophy here for the Halloween event. Well, there wasn't a moon in there, but we have one right away. Okay, no board. No real hiding spots back here, which isn't very nice. Maybe I should just go to the basement. But let me walk through the house. I don't mind losing a little bit of sanity. <laughs> Hopefully we'll find the ghost in the process. Now, we are right. I'm playing. I'm, I'm thrown off in that no evidence run. But we're back on professional. But we're still doing the blood moon weather. Well, there's a hiding spot back here. There really wasn't much. I thought I heard something coming down here. I'm gonna just keep my camera out in case something happens. I don't see a lot more. Of these totems. I'm that sounded like a powerful throw. Oh, I guess you want me to go back in here. <laughs> EMF 5, of course. I, I am just getting all the EMF 5 ghosts. Oh, oh, you're throwing paint cans. I'm gonna take photos just because. I guess getting a perfect game isn't my priority here. Alright, well, at least I can run upstairs and get away from the ghost. Maybe. The breaker's right here. Now, there was a hiding spot. Oh, look, there's a one back here. Now, I needed this hiding spot <laughs> many times before. I don't think I'll be able to use it this time. I turned this light on. Alright, so... Was this room... Yeah, this room's a bit colder, but is it also getting colder out here? Not really. Alright then, I'm gonna say this is your room. Let me... Since we have the breaker on, I can get lights turned on. So I'm gonna drop my stuff in here. And then also, as I'm leaving, turn on more lights, but we need to get more equipment in here. Oops, wait, what? Oh yeah, I don't have my flashlight on me this time. No, oh, and here's the bone. Alright, I'm not gonna worry about photos. I just do want to... I got, I'm like, messing with my wrist here. I, I'm just gonna focus on objectives and getting the ghost right. 
So, uh, I want to see what, what sanity we have. But, let me focus on the evidence stuff first, and not the objectives. That mm, looks like an EMF-5. And also, oh, well, sanity, sanity's alright. We already got the EMF reader one. Alright, I'm bringing in the UV just in case it'll touch a door. It definitely should, with it... It almost always touches this door a lot on these small maps. But also, I want to check for ghost orbs. And then I have the writing in case it maybe wants to write at some point. Now, it is awful dark down here. Did you turn off the breaker? Yes, you did. And now I see my breath. <gasps> and we see the ghost orbs. So I'm going to, like, run in here. Place this nicely down in the room. Oh, God. Lag spikes. Place that down, too. Now, did you touch this door? Not yet, at least. I'm going to get that back on. Now, since I saw my breath, let me go ahead and check this. And down to three. It's not freezing just yet. But, let's go ahead. Oh, see, we already have EMF 5 and Ghost Orb, so it's Raiju or Obake. Great. Raiju, that's not a good sign. The Raiju would be the dots, I know that much. It's like I'm actually starting to learn the Raiju, because they're all electrical. But what would the other one be well, just UV well at least I have UV in here and I don't have the dots then I'm gonna get want to get salt in here and maybe I'll get a candle while I'm at it but also sanity so I didn't find the cursed item oh it was in here oh oh god it's already moving on its own that's so creepy well, oh god okay well I don't know if I'm gonna use this guy but I'll throw him down here Oh god, that was a lot of force to throw him down with. Yes, the voodoo doll will help me get down to lower sanity, or it'll just hunt me instantly. So, yes. <laughs> we There's only two ghosts it could be. So I want salt, and then... Oh, there was the dots, so yeah, I'll get the dots projector in there. And since this could be a raiju, I guess I'll go in with the smudge. But I'm gonna just have to spend time with it until we get this last evidence, which it should be quickly with the salt. All right, ghost, please don't take me right down to no sanity. We're pretty much going to figure out right away if it's UV from this. All right, I kind of want to save one, like put one here if it starts hunting just to slow it down. I'm going to put one in the doorway and then one right here, so it'll definitely walk through it. But do we already have fingerprints? <gasps> here. Is that an event or just the light? I'm going to turn that back on. Oh, if it was just the light, then maybe there's a fingerprint here, which I do not see. Oh boy, you're gonna be a Raiju, and you're gonna be like a supercharged Raiju. Okay, I'm gonna get the one... This is the only electrical thing I'm gonna want in here. Everything else, let me make sure it's turned off. Which actually it is. <laughs> Usually I just leave everything turned on. Now, I'm... Oh, that was my footstep, I guess? Or was it the... Maybe it was the... Oh, okay, UV, it's Obake. Maybe we can try and see the shape shift. But I don't want to die. Well... Considering I have to get down to 25, and if I use the voodoo doll to do that, I'm probably going to get hunted. Where are you going? So, I don't care about photos. I just want to get the moon totem photos, get the ghost right, and now do the objective. So, still firelight, and then average sanity to 25. Alright, I'm going to do the objectives, and then I guess the last one is the 25, so then we'll, we will really be down in hunt range. I tell you what though, coming back to professional is a lot better than like d trying to do nightmare on here or especially the no evidence. I actually kind of enjoy doing professional on here. I don't know why it's feeling easier this time. I think it's because I'm on mouse and keyboard again. On a controller I was kind of struggling. Alright, not down to hunt range yet. We do know it's Obake so I will try and see the hidden or the uh, hidden ability but the I want to call it a transformation I guess because I'm Goku. The, uh, shapeshift. Jesus Christ, there it is. Okay, I'm coming back in with two more smudges. With all the light in here, it should be pretty fun and easy to get hunted out here. I say that, but I'm probably gonna get killed. Only one candle, though. You should be incentivized to blow this out. But really, I guess it's... Oh, I thought you'd already done it. Oh, wait a minute. Just slow down there. God, that was intense. So was that. I, I want to use the voodoo doll now. But where did I... Oh, I threw him at the top of the stairs. Oh, 
Oh, Jesus Christ, please. I stopped sprinting. Oh, whoa. I, I don't know if they're making ghost events cooler. I guess it's just because it was right there. But I'm just learning, now that I'm playing the game a lot more, some of these ghost events can be really cool where you just turn a ghost corner and see the ghost, but I don't know. I could go into a spiel about how ghost events used to work and how they were scarier, but I don't know. These ghost events now can be scary, and apparently how they used to work is supposed to come back, but that's a story for another day. So what's in my inventory? We got two smudges and a <clears throat> voodoo doll. All right, I'm going to try. This is an obake. Should I have my... What was that now? That sounded like a paint can. Maybe it was that falling off? I'm gonna try. That was way far over here. Did you? Oh, that was. <gasps> okay. See, talking about ghost events being scary. I'm gonna pull it. You are right here. Oh, wow, look at this staircase. Oh, God. Descent or ascent from hell. Open this door. I'm gonna pull it right here. Okay, well, it hunted, but I don't know if that was the- that wasn't the harp. Okay. Let's see if it shapeshifts. I'm gonna- oh. Oh, it, you saw it crawling for a second. Alright, I'm gonna- oh. That's my... Not area light. This is my- actually, it is my area light. It's not my headlamp. You are just hanging out in the living room now. Okay, well, I can't believe we already saw it. Oh, are we done? Okay, so that was not a cursed hunt. It just hunted as soon as I pulled that pin. Oh, and you kicked the breaker. I thought it was awful dark, but maybe you... Oh, did you do that before the hunt? Wow, okay. Let me get the breaker on, and then I want to do that again. Especially since that wasn't the cursed hunt. I'm going to... Please, get this on. Grab the other smudge. I think, I don't know if you heard that again, but I think it's my computer case that something, maybe a wire is hitting something in there every once in a while, but I feel like it's my computer case settling. Alright, I got two smudges. Now where'd that voodoo doll go? Now, oh, yeah, that tossed him down the stairs. I'm going to, yeah, we didn't pull the heart pin. So I'm going to start from up here. And really, I just want to pull the pin. Or, you know, do that, because I didn't have sanity. Alright, and will it shape shift coming up the stairs? Oh, it's not hunting. Or is it hunt? No, it's definitely not hunting. But I have no sanity now, so that should be all objectives, and we know what ghost it is. So let me try and see one last Obake shapeshift. I'm gonna pull that open so we can at least see when the door closes. Uh, now, yeah, I wanted to get this on. Perfect. I'm glad I remembered to do that. And I'm glad I did that before it actually started hunting. But it didn't pull the pin, so I kind of just needed to hunt on its own here. And it should be a cursed hunt because I used up the thing. But I don't know. Each cursed item kind of works on their own sometimes. Oh, you saw that one. That was a good shapeshift. Oh, I really like shouldn't have brought you over here because now you're going to look over here for me, aren't you? Oh, God. I'm going to try and loop. Oh, I, see, this is such a bizarrely cool thing to do. I'm like trying to look over it. Wow, it, this is really powerful. I never knew how strong these islands were. Are you going to check over here again? Because it might be a good idea for you to. But mm, these red lights really do a good job. Along with the candles, it feels really nice in here. Alright, we saw an Obake shapeshift. Let's go ahead and get out of here with a win. Oh, it's still going. I thought I... <laughs> oh, I'm hiding here. Please don't come in here. Okay, we're good. Please. I thought it was over. Alright, all objectives. We know it's an Obake for sure. So, we did a good job here, and I don't know how much it really... You get about like 20 points per game, so I don't know how much it affects overall, but there, there's one more good game towards this trophy. Yeah, Obake, 1300, so... I, let me, I'm gonna scroll through this really fast, just because... Abilities 12. So, an Obake ability, maybe, I don't really know specifically what that would be tracking as, but the Blood Moon team points 18 that time. I guess I didn't get as many photos. And then you get a plus 10% bonus, which gave me 112. So I'm not exactly sure what that 10% adds. If it adds, I don't know, 10% of your score at that point. Well, either way, it's a nice bonus to get. All right, going in on Edgefield. I'm doing the same order because I really like doing the two house maps and then Grafton and then f the finale of Point Hope. 
I know where the breaker is. Witness a ghost event, motion sensor, and then escape ghost during a hunt. Alright, well, again, we are doing dealing with the blood moon, but I chose to do professional, so I don't know. I'm just really afraid of doing nightmare, and I should mention, I'm going to be continuing, you know, playing Phasmophobia throughout November, and <laughs> I scheduled all, you know, I've been playing nightmare on the small maps. And, you know, the event's still going to be going when I'm playing on the small map, so I will be trying Nightmare out on these small maps as I get to them. So that'll be a very interesting challenge. Oh, I feel awful fast. Well, hi good hiding spot. I'm going to take a photo of this. Well, I've been standing here for a second, and I don't hear anything yet. I'm going to run downstairs and see if there's one more totem, and also if this hiding spot is open. Yeah, since we're on professional, there should be a good amount open. Ah, <laughs> there's nothing else down here, though. Oh my god, wait a second. I was looking at my... <laughs> Some wish were saying there was nothing down here. I was trying to see my recording time. I'm gonna take a photo of that just because... Oh my god, the ghost is down in this basement. I actually hate the Edgefield basement. I've never really had a ghost down here that often. Uh, I usually get a basement ghost in, like, Tanglewood, but that's probably because I play Tanglewood a lot. Okay, I'm going to check out the second floor, and then make sure we get all the photos, and then come back down here, so... I guess it'll cool down. I'm gonna just drop this stuff. I'll take my camera, and then I'm, I won't need photos. Unless, yeah, we don't need a photo for the objective. So I'll just leave my photo. I don't need to bring it back down here. Well, we have the hiding spot in the garage, I need to remember. And I can still maybe come up here and run somewhere. I don't think I'm gonna run in here, but I guess I can if I need to. I'm going to look through here, though. Make sure there's not another totem. Which, one time, yep, I had one in here. There we go. Now the question, what about these? Nope. Okay, hopefully back in the main bedroom there'll be a hiding spot. I'm kind of just going through this super quick. What do we have back here? I don't hear anything, so I doubt there's going to be much. Okay, last thing I'm checking, and no, all these spots are closed, so I guess I'm going to be running to the garage, but hopefully the ghost doesn't see me. I mean, I could run all the way up here and hide back there. Look at all the damn writings around here. All right, I don't need the camera anymore. I'm going to probably come back. I don't even know with what. I want to put stuff down here there that's kind of hard to see. I'm not going to worry about dots yet, and if it touches a door, I want to get it with UV. But Sanity's looking really good, so I don't know. Just after that no evidence run, I felt like this game was really hard, and maybe also after playing so much with the controller. Because yeah, that was the last time I played this game seriously was on that controller, and it felt way harder. Just because I'm not, you know, used to the controls. Oh my god. That's probably a house noise, but... I think I hear some crazy stuff sometimes. I hear the EMF. Is that for that fan over there? No. And I actually do enjoy the fact... Oh. What? What'd you touch? I must have touched this door. Oh, okay. I, I think this basement all counts as one room. Like, yeah, out here and in here is all one room. Now, no UV from that. Or EMF 5. I'm gonna go ahead and plop this down kind of in the middle, especially since it just wow. Yeah, we're gonna put that right in the center of this room. Now scan this section for ghost orbs. Wow, this is really cool because I, like I mentioned, I've really never had the ghost in this basement. You can get the you can get the ghost in the basement a lot in Tanglewood. Oh, this is some real ghost footage right here. <laughs> oh, but that was me getting evented. Oh, I don't see a ghost orb. I don't see one through all these shelves. I'm going to put this... Oh, no, that's something of mine on the ground. Alright, I don't see any ghost orbs out here either, right? My sanity's probably in the drain. Here's this light switch. Okay, didn't turn off the breaker then. Oh, whoa, that's my reflection. Or shadow. Okay, I'm going to turn this off. It got really cold fast, so is it down to freezing? No. Oh. Oh, it is writing! I was like, what is that EMF going off for? Well, we start with writing this time. Revenant. 
demon, Dio, they. I don't like these ghost types. What about freezing? You're still at one. I'm gonna leave. I don't think we have UV because it touched this door and yeah, I'm gonna actually rule out UV because it touched this door and we didn't see it. And it also, I think it touched this door. But the main thing is we can't even be Obake, so I'm gonna turn this off for now. Let's go get more evidence in here. Oh my god, okay, so Xanity is starting to drain a bit more, especially after that event. And I spent some time in the dark. Well, there's one, but we need to escape, so I'm not going to take Sanity yet. But what, it could be a Revenant or Dio, huh? Maybe I should learn a little bit more? Maybe it'll go down to freezing. EMF5 is not super likely. I did not see ghost orbs, but I don't want to rule it out yet. Uh, let's get dots in there just every other evidence and then I'll get my smudge <laughs> look at this. this is awful like do you think maybe the house designer could have put a light right here at the bottom of the stairs what are you doing in here oh my god you really are touching this door a lot I'm gonna make sure yeah we do not have fingerprints let me see if it's freezing cuz I'm starting to learn freezing is revenant okay it probably would have gone down to freezing. I still don't really know how the blood moon can affect the temperature. I don't know if it's harder to go down to a lower freezing. Let me keep that on me, maybe. Now, oh my god. I'm going to have to put the dots out here. And I'm going to hope that it'll catch the ghost going through the doorway. Oh! Or it'll catch it going right towards me. See, that's a very good strategy. The tutorial reminded me that the ghost, if it's a dots... Wow. If it's a dots ghost, it will roam to you. So you can use that to lure it into the dots. And I knew that, but I kind of forgot about that and didn't really think about that being like a legitimate thing they intended you for to do. But that means it's Dio or Thay. Now it's not acting like a Thay. It's not been crazy. It's just been kind of normal. Well, freezing is not going to be a well, spirit box. I do have spirit box and we didn't see ghost orbs. So maybe this will be a Dio. That'll be fun. Whoa. I love the dots, especially that tier three. So then, <laughs> not going to be EMF. Now, if we didn't see ghost orbs, let's talk on the spirit box there. <laughs> it's in my inventory. I'm going to turn on my headlamp, which it already was on. All right. Are you here? It's all in that took long. Now it's a Dio. Are you on top of me? Let's see if we can get that horrible screech again. It just happened literally last serious game I played. Where are you? Oh, are you here? Where are you? Are you friendly? Are you close? Are you far? Please, talk to me. Uh, 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 okay. Hello? Is someone there? <sighs> okay, dude, I know you're here. Oh, are you here? Please, one more time. Dio, give me the Dio sound. I guess I'm getting greedy. Oh, okay. Are you here? Are you friendly? <laughs> That's solid white. Okay. I'm starting to get terrified of the idea of it actually giving me that Dio sound. It's right on top of me. See how rare it is? Even when the Dio's on top of you, it's still a really rare thing to happen. Are you here? Are you friendly? Are you here? Okay. Well, guess what? You're a Dio. So, as long as I have a looping spot, which, oh god, I do have a looping spot. I was like, it's Edgefield. Where is there a looping spot in Edgefield? But it's in here. <laughs> this time he's just gonna slowly come around the corner. All right, you know what? I'm happy to have a Dio again. I don't know. I have like super good EMF five luck and super good Dio luck. I have gotten a lot of Dios, but I mean they're pretty fun. Oh god, you can like stand still and he'll just keep getting closer to you. I almost want to like take him away. Okay, there we go, dude. So what objectives do we have? Just motion sensor. So this isn't too bad of a game. These first two are pretty easy. Let me go get the motion sensor, and then, I don't know, we might get hunted by him one more time. Yeah, we're at zero sanity, so I didn't bother taking any. I'm going to put this right down here. Actually, oh my god, you're up here. I'm actually going to put the motion sensor here, and I'm going to try and run the ghost of Wolf through the motion sensor. I'm going to put it right here, and then we'll just keep looping around. Maybe I'll put it a little closer. Now, hopefully I won't need these smudge sticks. I should have turned on the light. 
I want to see what this motion sensor does during the hunt, which I think it will detect him. Oh, there it goes. It gave me a little flash. Is it following him, though? Let me see if I can get a nice action shot. Holy sh... Jesus. Oh, no. Wow. See, even when I get stuck on something... Oh, twice. The Dio still just does not have a chance to kill me. I do love a Dio, though. It can really catch you off guard, and the whole point of a Dio is it'll catch you in a dead end. But if you are lucky enough to have a map with at least one hiding or looping spot you can get to. You're pretty safe. All right, well, the only other thing I could think of messing with is the cursed item, which once again, I don't even know what it was. Oh, it was the music box. So I can't, I can't even use this thing without sanity, right? Nope, of course not. Okay, now I get to lasso him around again. I'm gonna see if I can catch him come around this corner. Okay, I don't know how close he can get before actually doing something to me, so <laughs> maybe I should start keeping my distance. Okay, now we gotta really keep this guy for a while, because maybe I'll turn that off just so I, you don't have to hear it. Well, this is gonna be a cursed hunt, so now we get to- Oh, oh, whoa, he went through that. Uh, can I get through here without him hitting me? It's weird how there are some things the ghost can get through. Oh, okay, was that not a cursed hunt? It really should have been, see, maybe, I don't know, that should have been a cursed hunt, but maybe, I don't know. Well, all right, that was another really good thorough game, but we're going to go ahead and leave that. I'm wondering if these next two games are going to be harder, though. Oh my god, did you hear that? It started being right next to that totem in here. All right, 1,200, did not get the bone, got a daily, though, and another 100, about $100 bonus, 10%. Time to move on to Grafton. So, Breaker is back in the workshop. It's James Brooks, Prevent, Escape, and Repel. Wonderful hunt objectives. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is go to the Breaker. But I really am starting to learn these uh, cursed item possessions, at least on all the Blood Moon maps so far. Okay, so far, nothing on... The first floor, we got a hiding spot here. Oh, oh, did I see my breath? I don't think so. I think I'm just tripping. I'm gonna walk around a bit more though. Hmm, okay, hiding spot back here. I don't know if I'm gonna have to use the first floor or the second floor. If you walk around on the first floor long enough, especially on the blood moon and you don't hear anything, I'm pretty sure I can guarantee it's not going to be on the second floor. Alright, I'm coming up here for you, ghost. Maybe I, I'm going to hold my mic and see if the ghost hears me talking as I'm walking around here. Now, that's a good hiding spot, but of course the ghost has to not be up here to see you go in it. Maybe I should also have this on. Okay, I found the bone. Are you just back here, ghost? Also, I guess I mm, lost the cursed item. Man, this isn't open either. Alright, I'll take a photo of the bone and take it anyway. Well, here we have a repeat. Is it going to be in one of these last two rooms, or did I just miss the ghost? I might have to come back in here with the thermometer, <laughs> which I already have. So, oh, here we go. Let me... The breaker's been on. Let me... St oops. Let me start scanning these rooms. Okay, maybe it really is this room. Are you kidding me? Let me walk outside and see if it's warm, which it is. Okay, it's this room, which I'm fine with. And look, it's the voodoo doll. So I'm not going to use this guy just yet. He's <laughs> really has a weird time. He's still glitching on this map, too. Have you done anything in here other than make it cold? I don't think you've moved one thing. Give us a sign. This is going to be a shade. Are shades freezing? Yes. I'm going to... Well, I already have the... Huh. I'm going to see if it's freezing, but we have to wait a little bit longer to see if it's going to go down to freezing. Alright, we'll leave that. I'm going to turn that off just in case it maybe is a revenant. But once again, I don't think I'm going to be needing the camera unless I just want to make more money. Okay. Yeah, EMF5, and I guess I'll take a photo. I didn't know there was a phone in here. Oh my god. No EMF5, but we'll take a photo. Why not? And it's garbage. Was that not the phone that rang? Are you kidding me? Come on. Give me credit. 
<laughs> I hate this game. Well, see, this is why I shouldn't be going for photos. I'm gonna drop some stuff in the middle of the room for the ghost to interact with, maybe. Maybe it'll make the bear giggle. Maybe it'll throw the ball. Okay, I waited a little longer. Is it freezing yet? It is going down lower. Alright, time to go get more equipment and see if it does go down to freezing. Okay, well, sanity's looking really good. Unfortunately, I do have these hunt objectives. Well, maybe it'll go down to freezing. I'm gonna get some simple stuff in there. I'm liking the feel of this room more, though, than <laughs> the basement in Edgefield. Boy, I'm hoping I turned on the light in there, and I know I did. I have some of the lights on down here still. Okay, ghost. Who are, you know... James Brooks. I read these names and then I don't even remember. Hey, you touched the bear. Thank you. I actually appreciate it when the ghost does something with one of the items. And you gave me EMF 5. Did you happen to turn the head on the bear? No. I'm going to take a photo just because. Okay. EMF 5. Now, I really want to see this freezing. And it's one degree. Is it going to go under one? Ah, It really wants to go down to freezing, doesn't it? Luckily, I can just stand here and scan this whole room for ghost orbs. And there's a ghost orb. Okay, so then if it is freezing, it's nothing. So it can't be freezing. Uh, so much for that. This room is just extremely cold. Could it be a haunt? It's either Raiju or Obake again. Well, I don't have the UV. I don't have the UV. I really appreciate that. That bear giggle is one of my favorite things in this game. You just moved it. I think this is going to be a... <laughs> oh no, you're starting to do stuff. Here, maybe I should turn off all my electronics if you are going to be a Raiju. Time to get UV in here and salt. And then, god, I'm going to have to deal with these hunt objectives. Oh my god, it's not... <laughs> sanity is still really good. So then, even if it's a Raiju, it'll be 65, so I have a little bit of time. But definitely get a smudge. Should I get two things of salt? We do need the crucifix, so we'll get one in there. God, this is the worst setup for hunt objectives. I gotta do, like, pretty much every single one, don't I? Well, for the time being, I don't have electricity going on in here. I'm gonna put that there. Oh, okay, I'm gonna use the other one. Also, slap that, that down in the middle. Okay, I'm starting to lose my mind. Did I got not grab a UV? Oh, I am so dumb. Well, <laughs> let's go get... Uh, let's go get the actual UV. I thought I grabbed it, damn it. Well, I'll have more salt for you to walk through. Okay, well that was actually kind of a good thing because now I have this other crucifix in here. So I kind of want to use it to cover this corner of the room. Now the thing is, if I put this over here, will it really cover both corners? Oh god, I don't know. I'm going to have this go back all the way into that corner. And now there's only a little bit of room that won't be affected. Now salt. And put salt down everywhere. And I still have another in that other bottle. Okay. Oh, and you're not giving me the UV. That means you are going to be a Raiju. Oh, please. Just give me one footprint. Okay, this time it's a... This time it's a Raiju. But I... I can turn off all my electronics. But the thing is, my sanity has been pretty good. So I'm going... Grab, grab that smudge. I'm going to go turn the breaker back on. I'm turning my headlight on, which is bad. But we gotta lower my sanity, so maybe I should just stay in the dark. I want the breaker on, but... What was the cursed item? I never found the cursed item again, did I? Oh. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> I still have the salt up there, so it's stomping around. I want this light on for sure. But I gotta hang out in the dark if I want to lose sanity, and that's why I was looking for this stupid cursed item. Oh, it was the- okay, see, I'd start losing track of the rooms. It was- I think the monkey paw is in here, but I don't know what- I think- maybe I'm thinking of Bleasdale. Okay, here goes nothing. That was my camera, excuse me. The thing is, if I get a cursed hunt, it's not going to be stopped by the crucifixes, but I could still smudge. Oh, man. I'm gonna have to smudge like right here, and then. Was oh, that the breaker again? Come on, dude. All right, I'm gonna drop this. I'm gonna go turn the breaker back on. Hopefully, drain enough sanity to get a normal hunt. I don't want to have to get a cursed hunt here. Oh god, I turned that off. 
But my hiding spot. I'm gonna smudge up there, then run down here, turn this corner, and hopefully the ghost doesn't see me going here to my hiding spot. Now the breaker ends this way. I still don't think I've drained enough sanity to be pretty low, enough to even arise you with the electricity around. Now I'm gonna keep my headlamp off, cause it'll go super fast and kill me if I keep that on. Okay, I'm going to have fun here and use the voodoo doll to try and lower my sanity and get hunted, cause even if I get hunted here, that was that, I can still smudge. Okay, what was that? Nothing happened. Oh, you're banging on windows over there. Okay, sanity's going really low. One more. I want to see if maybe I can get the crucifix first. Come on. Surely I'm in hunt range now. Ah, that sounded so loud. Oh my god, I turned back and he's right there. Here, do you want the voodoo doll? The... I'm going to please open that door. Oh, oh he teleported the bear. I heard it hit somewhere down on the first floor. Yeah, I kind of remember that now. You can like walk around the map and find like a stuffed animal out of place. That is like a really old thing that I forgot about. So yeah, like I remember that now. Like sometimes you can just walk around a building and find a stuffed animal out of place because it teleported at it out of its room and that's how you could like find the room. Could you hunt? <sighs> how is he so fast? I don't have anything on. Why are you coming down the stairs, dude? Why are you coming down the stairs? Like, why? Why? Well, why? I'm going back here. Oh, no. This is the worst. Please. I don't really have a hiding spot back here. I don't think. Oh, maybe I do. Okay, I do. That was awful. That how He was so fast. Do I have something electrical in there? Or maybe... Now he's normal speed. Normal... Blood moon speed. No, please. You... Do not know I'm back here. I barely managed. While it's chasing, escape the ghost during a hunt. Come on, we need to get that one here. And then I still need the crucifix. That one was like one of the more terrifying objectives I ever had to complete. Okay, I will have time to get out of here. <laughs> but the thing is, I need more smudges. I'm just gonna have to sit in here and wait for those crucifixes to do their job. But I kind of want to shove both the crucifixes deeper into the room instead of using that other one. I kind of put it near the door so it wouldn't hunt outside, but this ghost has not been very roamy. Uh, Alright, last objective is just prevent a hunt. So I'll get all these crucifixes or smudge sticks in there. Maybe I did have my light on. I can't even tell anymore. There. Turn that off. Okay, luckily breaker is still on. Now, the thing, the thing is, I'm going to drop one smudge. God, I don't want to turn on my light. Yeah, see, I'm going to put this right down in the middle. This should cover everything. Oh, there's a radio on over there. I'm going to turn on the big light so I don't have to use my own light. Did it turn it off? Oh, no, it's just like going through its own cycle. Yeah, I just went ahead and turned it off myself. All right, so this was James Brooks. James, give us a sign. James, come on, do something for us. Uh, well, you did show yourself earlier a bit. And I do not want to use the voodoo doll. Uh, I'm gonna try, uh, I already used the pin. Oh, okay, there we go. Finally, all right. Thank you, James. We're gonna get out of here and call this one a success. I don't wanna have to smudge that thing again. But, <laughs> alright, terrifying game for Grafton. We have just point hope left now. Well, for all the games, oh, Devoted, complete 10 weekly tasks, there we go, I'm getting some achievements. That's another thing, I do want to get all the achievements in this game one day, and that's of course gonna involve the Apocalypse Challenge. Look at that, Tier 3 Firelight, alright, we are doing some stuff here. Let's add that, and we can use that. Maybe I'll walk around point hope with that, just for fun. I wouldn't mind doing something more, kind of creative. Oh, 10,000. Well, you have 40,000, though, so it's worth it. It may look old, but this gasoline gasoline field lantern is the most reliable firelight we found. It can last for hours on end. I guess, yeah, kerosene lantern. I just never thought of being, like, gasoline. This lantern will last for the entirety of a contract, so there's no worry of it going out when you need it most. Just like its predecessor, you can stand nearby to gain its effects. Lastly, it's waterproof, so it even works in the rain. 
So that's another thing. It'll last forever, and I'm pretty sure it can't be blown out, but maybe it can still be blown out, but it'll it'll, it'll always be relightable. All right, make sure that is in the quick loadout. Oh, and even sanity. Apparently, I can... Oh, right. I forgot about that. See, now we're paying all this stuff. Okay. I just saw a spot. Firelight and... Sandy. There we go. Now we have some upgrades. All right, it's time to end this on Point Hope. Now, the breaker is in the middle of the tower, which can be a good thing, bad thing, I don't know. Now, it's Lisa Marsh, so you know we love Lisa. Firelight, which, okay, I think it will be able to blow out the Tier 3 Firelight, so it's a good thing I'm bringing that in there. Photo, and then cleanse. So, photo, that'll be interesting. Maybe we'll get a thing to a cursed item for that no this lantern oh my god this is the first time i've had one of these like i would almost call it like 3d where you look down and it's oh my god it looks so trippy it almost looks like it's i'm holding it forward or something all right well this is really cool i'm going to go in here with this, an atmospheric sense and just have fun looking around in the dark and see how long it takes me to find this ghost but of course let's ring the bell to let the ghost know we're coming Oh, this is so nice immediately. This is the firelight that gives you light. Like, well, I feel like the candles don't really give you that much light, but this one definitely provides enough of like a, a glow around you that it's really nice. Okay, mm, this lantern's making everything look nice around here, even though it's hellish with all the candles. Now, I don't have my thermometer this time, so I don't know how, how much I'm going to enjoy that. I don't think the ghost just blew that out. No. I think I would have heard something. I don't know how much time I want to spend in the dark. There is a hiding spot there. I should have been looking, really. I'm going to go to the breaker first. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I do need to look around in the dark, though. Every time I come over here, I hear that damn clock. Now, what about cursed items? So that mirror is right here, and it's not this time. And I know I didn't see the tarot cards. Alright, running up these stairs. All these candles are so pretty. <laughs> no Ouija board. But we have another, this billiard table, pool table, which really works as that island, so I kind of need to know we have that power here. Now, I'm walking around with a candle, so I shouldn't be draining my sanity. Hello, bone. Place that. Oh, it's a summoning circle. Guess what? That actually is perfect. So, getting a photo shouldn't be too hard, but I do have to deal with a zoning circle. Alright, I'm gonna continue this little journey through Point Hope with my cinematic, atmospheric... Oh, here's the breaker. <laughs> Lantern. Turn that on and get it closed. I wonder if we'll find a room with a... Oh, wow, there's one back here. If we'll find a room with a... A ghost in it? I don't even know what I was going to say. Cursed item? Is the cursed item here? No. We, we know it's in the uh, summoning circle. But I am looking for hiding spots. Is there anyone around here? You want to show yourself? Like these shoes. I'm pretty sure those just start like that. That's what I mean about Point Hope. So many things just start like already out of place. You kind of have to learn where everything starts when they're already out of place now. Well, we've made it all the way to the top. I'm actually holding my voice open just in case the ghost hears me up here. Mm, we do have a hiding spot. Uh, oh, oh, is that on or is that just me? There's no way that's on. No, it's just a weird shadow, right? All, or weird light coming out of there because all the lights are red now. Well, we made it to the top. Now that I'm up here... Oh, I don't have my... <laughs> Damn it. Oh, and that also went... I don't have my thermometer. So now, now that the breaker's been on long enough, I guess I'll go down and just do my journey again, but with the thermometer and not the lantern. Although, maybe the ghost is up here? I don't think any of this has been moved. Okay, I'm gonna start the journey back down. Maybe we'll see a light on if it's not a mirror. But there's not many doors that I could touch. I should have left these closed in case it touches one. But I love this lantern. And this is why I want to, like, not prestige. I definitely will be prestiging, but I want to use this stuff up for a lot before I do. 
So it might be like a while, a little while, a couple months maybe, maybe not till next year I prestige. I was thinking I was going to prestige after Halloween, but I really want to keep using this stuff enough to where I get used to it, enough to where I really think I'd enjoy going back to, you know, the tier one stuff. So no cold breath in any of these rooms. I bet you're like in the foyer or something, aren't you? Well, the only good thing from this is that I haven't been draining my sanity, but I didn't look for hiding spots all the way down here. I bet it is on the first floor. I just got this gut feeling. I have not seen my breath though, unfortunately. Well, I gotta leave all this stuff in here. What about in here? I thought this may have been a light on. Are you here? Where are you? How did I walk through all of Point Hope and not hear something? Especially with this blood moon. Jesus, these drapings, I didn't know what that was. Alright, dropping this stuff all in here. And I'm gonna get my thermometer and we're gonna figure out where this ghost is. Oh wow, it's been super active. And even with that tier 3, Point Hope still always just drains your sanity. Well, uh, I'm gonna be, oh, I'm gonna play it safe. Take one of these, which I know this gives you a speed boost, so I need to play around getting hunted with these one day. But I'm going to go back up full sanity, use the thermometer to figure out where the ghost is. Then I guess I'll bring in a couple things where I can just immediately check. If it touches a door, I should really get that in there, but maybe I'll just put the book down. Alright, time to go back to the, the thermo zombie days. <laughs> Which I, man, for the longest time, I really did have to play this game with a thermometer. It's a lot scarier when you don't know where the ghost is. But it's like back in the day when I found the ghost room, I felt so much better just because it, I don't know, I felt safer somehow. So I'm going to want to put, I don't know, what am I going to want to take with me? I guess I'm, I'd look through, I only found one totem by the way, so we're done with the photo cam. I'm going to take the book or I should take this, but I can't check. Well, I can check for temperatures. Let's do this. Place this down and then we scan for our temperature. Now this is the immersive phasmophobia experience. So no ghost here. Oh, I shouldn't have. See, it, it like goes out. So I need to go to my empty hand before I pick it up. But I'm going to continue searching these floors here with my nice new lantern. I'm probably going to walk up here and just see my breath uh, before I even determine the uh, temperature on the thermometer. Okay, this time put it down, scan, and then I'm supposed to switch to my open hand. One more scan, switch to open hand, now we pick it up. <laughs> see, this is what you gotta do, you just scan each floor and see if it's cold. What about this floor? Nope, it's very warm. I know Point Home is warm anyway, but I feel like the Blood Moon makes things warmer. I'm hearing weird noises again on Point Home. We know it's not gonna be a hallway ghost. Oh my god, is this ghost really just all the way at the top of the building? Let me start turning on some of these hallway lights. Every time I switch to my lighter or lantern, it goes out. Plant that scan room. It really is going to be up top. Well, at least I'm turning on all these lights. Are you going to be in the pirate room? Are you a pirate ghost? Wow. Okay. What is happening? There's got to be a cold room. Oh, no. I bet it's this room. Plant that. Do I see my breath before I even scan? Oh my god, it really is all the way up there then. I didn't think I saw anything out of place. Oh god. <laughs> I'm bad at like not letting that get turned off. Where is this ghost? There's not been one cold room. The only room I didn't check was the very bathroom at the beginning. I bet it's this room. I've had ghosts up here. Yeah, one degree. Okay, found the ghost room. I gotta deal with this blinding blood light now. I'm gonna drop this down. I have nothing else. Maybe it'll blow out the lantern while I'm gone. Okay, I'm gonna go down to the entrance. I have two things I can bring back, but I'm probably going to actually go to the truck, bring more stuff to leave at the door, and then that way I'll come back up with three things, so at least I'll have a couple more items in at the door. Well, oh my god, see, if you get a ghost at the very top and you're playing solo, you just gotta run all the way back down. This is like the only time I really have a problem with Point Hope, is when you have to go all the way from the top, all the way back down. 
Oh, I hear one of the. Is it in here? I bet it is. Okay, here. <laughs> well, I got my camera right here. I'll take a photo of this. I don't think the ghost is in hunt range or I'm in hunt range. Let's make sure we don't do this wrong. So I'm going to go in here with it. Oh, this is how we do it. Okay, wait for it to disappear. Oh, and then please let me out of here. Uh. Wow, so I've barely seen this ghost, but it's been very active. Do I have to... We actually don't need to get hunted. We just need cleanse, photo, and firelight. Well, if I use the summoning circle. Let's do... Uh, I still need to figure out what this ghost is. So we have the other stuff. I guess I'm going to grab the UV and salt, and then maybe spirit box to talk to it. But I'm going to leave... Well, it could be dots or something, but I'm going to leave that for now. That looks like it could be an EMF-5. Let me see if it ends. Well, you know what? It doesn't matter. Actually, it's still going really strong, and I'll just boost it up again. Man, what is that ghost doing in there? Let's just go in there and see. Okay, problem. I don't have my headlamp, so I'm going to put that on. So I'm dragging even more stuff to, into the doorway. Well, this game has been an interesting one. I did get to do my exploring like I wanted to. So I got... Oh, creepy noises. I got all my stuff in here. What am I going to bring up? I want to put that in there. And I want the UV and the salt. So, I have the temperature up there in case it changes. We'll get the book and then I really want to just see if it's UV in case we get lucky. Now, I got to leave my smudge down here, unfortunately. But at some point, I'm going to have to get that smudge. I might not even need to smudge when I use the summoning circle, so I don't know. Instead of turning on all these lights, I'm going to use my headlamp. I started this out without using the headlamp because I was using the lantern, but then I quickly realized I still need it. But it's very useful. The combination of this headlamp and the red lights, well mainly the candles that are lighting up the map, they go together very well. and. I don't know, I'm enjoying playing small ma maps and just using this headlamp. But here soon we need to unlock that 3D, not 3D, the night vision goggles. I wish there were 3D goggles. Make the already 3D world even more 3D. Oh god, I don't want to turn on any more light switches. I feel like if the ghost turned on one, it's going to screw me. Is it already... I'm... <laughs> I don't know, but I'll put... Uh, let's try and keep them together. I'll keep it on this side. Put the book down over here, I guess. Maybe it'll just have this whole area. I forgot. See, as soon as I turned on my light, I knew there could be a bang on this. All right, UV. That's a good start. I don't have EMF-5 this time. And it should be down to freezing. So if it's not freezing yet, I'm going to totally rule out freezing. Alright, no super fast ghost, luckily. But what else do we have? <laughs> good good news is we have the UV, and yes, you have footprints, which I kind of figured. But could you maybe... I'm gonna like... Can I... I probably can't do that. Oh, can I just toss that up over? No. I want to toss this away, so that way the ghost won't like interact with it. I want it to have a higher chance of interacting with the book in here. Could it be writing though? And yes, it definitely can. But that means it would be a polter. It threw, ooh, it has thrown some stuff. Maybe it is a polter. What would a polter be? Writing, but what else? Oh, God, that was strong. See, you can be all the way over here, too. And then getting dots up here. All right, well, if this is really going to be the last game, let me take my time with this. I'm done with freezing. <laughs> that whatever was thrown over here is probably not giving me an EMF signal. And look at that. It was this. And then, whoa. Oh, oh. Okay, ghost event. See, now you're scaring me. EMF5 again. Goryo, Obake, or Miling. It's a, I thought it was writing. There's a candle down there. I hear you throwing stuff. Alright. Could be writing. Not gonna be spirit box. Dots or orbs. <gasps> oh, thank you that that was an event and not just a hunt. Oh god, though. I'm going to pull this even further away. I don't need to escape here. What are my objectives? Photo, which I'm going to end this with the photo. And then cleanse. So let's... I can do that two for one. So we got to figure out what this is. The writing book is in there. I need to get the dots projector and the ghost orbs up here. And then maybe I can get that smudge too. 
Well, when you just spend time up there a little bit, as long as you're not spending the most of the, your time on the map going up and down these stairs, but I already have stuff in at the door. Well, I'll come down here, grab my stuff, and then head right back on out. Well, the thing is, I'm going to have to take sanity before using... Of course, look at that. <laughs> I'm going to close that door and just hope the ghost doesn't come down here. But I'm going to have to use sanity before using the summoning circle, because I'm not going to have enough sanity to use it without taking pills. So I will take this up there with me just for safety. So I only need to look for dots and then this. So yeah, we'll take this smudge up there for safety. Well, way it was hunting, so that means we're in hunt range. So, so much for just like getting lucky here. What I'll do is I'll go up there and if it's not hunting, I'm going to smudge and hope that I actually smudge the ghost and it's not like on the other side of the top of the lighthouse. But if we smudge, I should have enough of a moment. Let me listen while I'm coming up here. I should have a moment to get this evidence, or at least scan for ghost orbs. And you are hunting! Great! I'm gonna hide back here because this is a perfect spot to hide. And it's all nice and glowy and lit up for me. I hear it stomping, so I don't think it's a myling. No, oh, and if it's Goryo dots, I'm not even gonna see the dots, so... If there's no ghost orb... Oh man. Are you done up there? Am I? I swear I'm hearing stomping. Maybe I'm not. Wow, okay. <laughs> I'm not even as far up this tower as I thought I was. A couple more lights turned on, so it did hunt. And I guess I could hide in there. Uh, I really gotta make sure it doesn't see me go in there, though. It's not a bad idea, because if it doesn't see me go in there, I can hold the door closed. Alright. I have no idea where I should put this. And also, I'm gonna turn it off. Now, looking for ghost orbs with the red is not as bad. Um, it's still really hard to see with the sky, though. I'm probably gonna get killed, aren't I? Oh, I'm probably gonna get killed. How am I out of sprint? Okay, I'm not out of sprint. Okay, guess I'm gonna be hiding in the locker. Ah, I shouldn't smudge. <laughs> you know what? It's fine, though, because I wanted to hide anyway. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I didn't smudge. And guess what? She was over there, so I don't think she would have gotten smudged anyway. Okay, at the end of this hunt, I will run around up there with my smudge. I didn't see ghost orbs. This is a Goryeo. It hasn't roamed a lot. This could be a Goryeo. I hear it, so I don't think it's a Myling. But it's hard to tell. Myling would be ghost riding. So let me see if it's written. Alright, I'm gonna have to use my headlamp now. I gotta hit the staircase. But I'll turn this light on so I can actually see. And now I'm not worried about breaking any breakers. But there's no real air smudge. There's no real light up here other than this thing. You know, there's no light I can turn on for this room. Oh, it hasn't thrown the writing book. Oh, I thought that maybe it just did. I'm gonna turn that off. I still don't see ghost. You're smudged. You are smudged. I see you over there. I don't see ghost orbs. What else would it be? It can't be writing. I'm gonna rule out writing. And if it's not ghost orbs, we gotta play the whole process of, el of elimination game. Is that a ghost orb? I don't think so. I would see a ghost orb in here, definitely. It would be solid white enough. I think this is a Gorio, because it hasn't left its room. And I think we're just gonna have the hardest so time seeing dots. But maybe I could set it up right here. I don't know how much, how much time I have left. Uh, if I could just... I could set this up on the railing, but I'm not gonna be able to. I have nothing I could like set this on other than the ground. I guess I will. I'll just set it on the ground and then hope that we can see a. a I'm gonna try and look for Goryeo dots somehow. And this will be good because I can go back and then we'll just get the photo from here. Oh my god, again, it really feels like it takes so damn long to get down here from the top. But we made the trip. So I'm gonna run to the truck if it's not hunting, which it isn't. And then this time, I'm gonna take Sanity and just go back and get this photo of the ghost. I, I'm taking the guess that it's a Goryeo, because it was hanging up there the whole time. It hasn't roamed down at all. And I think I've been at lower Sanity up there, definitely, and it was hanging out in its room. <laughs> so the only, only thing is photo of the ghost. Now we could get lucky and see it go by with the dots, but it, it's been hanging out on the other side of the room. 
So, I don't know. I'm going to sit here for a minute or two. Oh, oh my god. And it was, it looked like it was on the outside. Ah. All right. Well, thank you for at least giving it to me. That's strange. Was it, it looked really, I mean, it was because you could only see the top head of it. it. It was outside, but it was, the dots was still showing it. All right. Incredible. Glad we have that done. Now, the only thing left is this photo, and we got lucky enough to have the summoning circle. But I gotta take all these sanity, and I th I'm probably gonna have just enough to do it. Now the thing is, oh, there's the other, I still have my lighter, okay good. I'm going to take a lantern so I don't drain my sanity, and then I guess just smudges. Okay, the final trial here, I'm gonna get this photo, and we're gonna have another game where we're helping the community and we're getting to this damn trophy. I guess I should also say this is the finale of the Halloween special. That's what this was, by the way, the Halloween special. So, you know, this is the, obviously the best time of year for a channel like mine where it's around horror games. But right now, all my focus is on Phasmophobia. But I, I intend on being here a long time. And hopefully one day, there's so many other horror games. Because I have spent my whole life enjoying horror games, but not really playing them, you know. I've just been watching a lot of horror games, so now is my time to play them, and there are so many I want to play, but, you know, that'll be way down in the future. I got a lot of time. I'm ready to spend a thousand plus hours playing this game. Now, oh, <laughs> started talking too much. Now, the thing is, am I going to have sanity enough to do this? I'm just going to go for it. I don't think Point Hope would have drained my sanity that much. Ah, uh, hello there. I'm going to close this door, and I'm going to run. Now, I'm going to hope that I can get far enough downstairs that this doesn't bother me mm, let me just take oh I didn't take a photo oh I didn't take a photo <laughs> see I just wanted to do this for fun I just started thinking it was Halloween all right I'm gonna smudge the ghost if I can no she just took off upstairs ah so much see I just started thinking about Halloween and I just thought I was doing this for fun oh well I am doing this for fun, by the way. That's why I'm running up here and coming after this ghost like this. And now I'm coming after you. Oh, no, ghost, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't want to do this. All these opportunities for a ghost photo, too, and I just can't get it. Okay, well, so much for that. Are you still going? You are. Great. See, now I got to deal with cursed hunts. Should I, like, get another smudge? I think I have one more smudge. Cause yeah, I, uh, I use the other ones. I want to like punish myself and go up there and use one more smudge. But I tell you what, I don't think I'm going to get anything better than what just happened there. So even though I didn't get the photo, <laughs> I, this whole point of it was just enjoying Halloween and enjoying this game. So screw the photo. I'm happy to just have fun with this game and have fun messing with the ghost. And like I said, I'm going to be here for a long time. I have another whole month planned out. And then really, we're just waiting for that Blaze of Dale rework. And there are so many huge updates, you know, Horror 2.0, so much stuff coming for this game that, and you know, just now coming out on consoles, so many new people are playing this game, so it is truly just the beginning of Phasmophobia in my eyes, so here's the, I guess, end of the Halloween celebration. I am going to go back to the main area and do one little, little goodbye, but I just wanted to have one last look at Point Home here. And uh, an annoying Goryo, another 1300. All right, I am very happy with that. So like I kind of mentioned earlier, I will still be doing more of the Blood Moon stuff. But as for the Halloween celebrations, I guess this is officially the end. But of course, we're still going to be playing the game because the Blood Moon is not over. The event's still going. And I'm going to be ultimately playing some nightmare games on the Blood Moon. So we're going to be seeing how that works out. But Starting next month, we have, you know, a new schedule of videos, and we're just going to be waiting for the next update. And hopefully, we get Bleasdale in the Grafton we works sometime around Christmas. That's what I'm hoping for. Well, I hope you all had a great Halloween. As I'm recording this, I haven't even had mine yet, but I wish you all a happy Halloween. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time.